What's Gucci gang? What's Gucci squad? It's your boy Young Mike back at it with another video. Hey, today, I'm gonna get right into it. Juicy details about how juvenile was. So first off, guys, um, if you're new, welcome to the channel. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, turn your post notifications on so you won't miss a video. Some gas right here, and we about to spark up. I, like, I was driving right now, guys, and I'm like, bro, where should I go? You know what I'm saying? And I don't know where to go. Um, but I'm in this random parking lot. I just see like all these fancy cars. So I just pulled up uh, right here. Juvenile was probably the worst. I don't know. Like the worst. It's like the closest thing to hell to me. Um, especially when you're younger. It, it really traumatizes you. Uh, it did make me a better person. You know, without going to juvenile, I would have never been who I am today, I guess. But cheers, guys, if y'all sparking up with me. So, basically, guys, y'all want more story time, so this is where it's going. So, let me just get into the juicy details. When I first went to Juvenile, the cops were scaring me. Like, not scaring me exactly. Like, they were like, you're going to sleep on the floor with cockroaches and stuff. I was like, what? For real? Like, and my homie that was with me was crying. I'm like, bro, I think they're playing. Chill out. Don't cry yet, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, chill. So, bro, he's crying. I'm just like, chill, bro. I ain't going to say his name because I ain't going to put him on blast like that. But I was never one to believe that. So I was like, sure, we are. Like, I've seen Ninja. Like, we at least have a mat. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, it's not like that. So what ended up happening was I first, my first time in jet, bro, all these nice cars are pulling up. That's like a 30 $30,000 truck right there. So basically, um, I wake up uh, in Juvenile. This is how, so you go to Juvenile first off, you go to this, um, it's like an entryway. It, uh, it looks like this. All right, so now that y'all saw that, so it kind of looks like that, you know, like a waiting room where you first go in, then you get all your information. They ask you like about I think it's 200 questions or something like that. Guess what you gotta do? Say no to every single one of them. These are all trick questions. If you answer any one yes, then you're gonna be in a pickle suit. A pickle suit is you, at night, they give you a pickle suit. You can't wear no clothes. You gotta get butt naked. You gotta give them your clothes at night and you gotta wear this pickle suit. Even when you shower. You know how weird and awkward that is? That's super weird. And you gotta give, that's, whoa, no, 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 no. Don't do that, guys. They even put you on 24-hour watch, if anything. When someone tries to test y'all in there, what y'all need to do is just stay positive. Don't, don't fall into their trap. All that's going to happen is if you fight them, you win your pride, right? But guess what? Those people you win your pride with, whoever it is, a girl, teacher, whoever's watching at the time, or whoever hears about it, you know, the streets talk, you know, and like... This is what's gonna happen. That don't mean nothing, guys. Like, that right there is not worth your time. It's not worth your freedom. You know what I'm saying? It's not worth your energy because when you get out, guess what? That meant nothing. You know? And it's, it's possible you could get more time for that. So don't do it. That's what I always thought about. It's, I thought I had, you know, I knew I had people out there for me. You know? I had this YouTube and I wanted to really do it. Be like me and just stay out of trouble when you're there. Also, guys, juvenile, the food is nasty. We got that out the way. Now, when you sleep, sleep at night, okay? It be loud, guys, and it's hard to sleep because a lot of people, they be so loud, like, and they get restrained and all this stuff, and 
it's really, really like a whole bunch of BS that you got to go through as an individual. And when you get to juvenile, if you don't like, like, it looks like this. Alright, now that y'all saw that, that's what it looks like because, I mean because. Privacy is another thing, guys. If y'all all about privacy, jail or juvenile is really not for you. I know juvenile is not a picky place, but what I'm trying to say is stay out of trouble, guys, out here because that's what you want to end up in juvenile. Poop in front of people, they do checks and stuff like that, and it's just not cool, yo. They be like, sometimes they be like, like just staring at you, bro. You're trying to take a shit, you're just like... They're just like, you need help? You good? I'm like, bruh. And guys, you never know. You could run into a, like, a nasty Nate. Those days are gone. Oh, fire! Ah! 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 And oh hell no, nah. we do not want that, you know. And like county, county, that's what really it is. Like that's what's really it like. But um, yeah, just jail's not cool, guys. Make sure y'all just stay out of jail, any type of jail. Just like be, you know, a hundred. Don't put yourself in situations. I used to always put myself in situations, so that's what I learned. So I, I do stuff good now. And I get good in return. Like, I noticed that. So, that's why I continue to do good. It's better to do good than do bad. I mean, obviously, right? Alright, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, make sure y'all smack the thumbs up. And I'll be back at it with some more fire videos. And scan!